Hello, dear students. How are you? Today we are going to continue and to solve the new exercise, the Lebanese session and from the Okay, this the title of this exercise is cause of muscle paralysis. يعني واضح in this question we are going to prove the cause of muscle paralysis. سبب اللي عم بيخلي العضلة إنه تكون مشلولة. Okay, in the framework of studying certain cases of muscle paralysis. In the framework of studying, this is the aim of the question. Okay, certain muscle paralysis. Researchers carried on experiments on animals which exhibit complete paralysis of their muscles. أخذوا animals عندهم complete muscle paralysis شلل بعضلاتهم لا يدرسوهم. In order to determine the origin of paralysis, the following experiments are performed on a normal animal and another paralyzed one. أخذنا two animals, one normal and one paralyzed. واحد طبيعي وواحد مشلول لنشوف شو سبب الشلل عندهم وعملنا experiments these experiments are performed on the motor neuron N connected to muscle M by synapse F حتى تكون واضحة الصورة قدامكم this is motor neuron M okay this is a muscle okay uh, M motor neuron N sorry and this is this is motor neuron N and muscle M and the synapse here is called F here. This is the synapse. Okay, هل منطقة اللي حطيت عليها دائرة. This is the synapse. Experiment one. Effective stimulations are directly applied on muscle. Okay. In each of the two animals, muscular contraction is observed in both cases. جاب النورمال أنيمال والباراليزد أنيمال. وعمل stimulus of the muscle of both animals, the normal will paralyzed. In both cases, in normal and in paralyzed, the muscles contract. طيب اوكي. Okay. يعني عضلة الانيمال المشلول عملت contraction. يعني is there a problem at the level of this muscle? هل هي فيها مشكلة هي العضلة? Sure not. لأنه same as normal, it contracted. يعني المشكلة not at the level of the muscle when we stimulate it. يعني the problem صارت بمحل تاني. Okay, so by experiment one, we deny that the problem at the level of the muscle. The problem is not at the level of the muscle. The muscle is normal because when we stimulate it, it contracts normally. However, in experiment two, effective stimulations are applied on motor neuron M innervating muscle M in each animal. Ijina amilna stimulus here at the motor neuron N. Okay. The results and the experimental conditions are shown in document one. These are the results. Normal animal, nerve message at the level of the motor neuron and the normal animal will in a fee action potential horn, contraction of the muscle will muscle amulet contraction. However, in the paralyzed animal, nervous message at the level of the motor neuron and fee nervous message horn, but no muscular contraction. Mat kallas tladali. Type. بالباراليزد انيمال اي جزء عنده مثل النورمال باول اكسبيرمنت وي بروف ذات ذا ماسل از نورمال بهيدي الاكسبيرمنت هون شايفين انه ذا موتور نيورون ان از ترانسميتنج ا نيرفس مسج ان بوث كيسز ان باراليزد انيمال اند ان نورمال انيمال يعني از ذير ا بروبلم ات ذا ليفل اوف موتور نيورون ان هل هو في بقلبه مشكله هيدا النيورون ان عند الباراليزد انيمال شو رايكم شو نو بيكوز ات ترانسميتد نيرفس مسجز بس المصل المصل ما عملت كونتراكشن طب ليش؟ سو ذا بروبلم از وير وين؟ اذا البروبلم نوت ان ان ونوت ان ام يعني وين بدها تكون؟ ات ذا ليفل اوف ذا ساينابس اف فيش غير هيك ذا بروبلم اوف ذيس انيمال ذا باراليس سبب الشلل منه بالان بالنيورون ان ومنه بالمصل ام هو اكيد بالساينابس اللي بيربط بيناتهم اوكي؟ ات ذا ليفل اوف ذا ساينابس كونكتنج ذيم طيب شو ذات The paralysis of the, uh, this animal is due to dysfunctioning of the synapse. Show that. I have to show that by analyzing each experiment and reaching, يعني by reasoning. بدي أعمل تحليل, بدي أنفي الغلط لأكد اللي هو بده إياه. خذ وقتكم لتجاوبوا، بنعمل analysis مع indications هيك للإكسبيرمنت الأولى ولا الإكسبيرمنت الثانية لأطلع بإستنتاج أنا إنه المشكلة هي عند السينابس. طيب كيف ممكن أقولها أنا هيدي؟ But do since in Belshu Demon Beach show that be since since in experiment one the muscle contracts in both animals normal and paralyzed after stimulating them, thus the problem in the paralyzed animal is not at the level of the muscle. لأنه عملت contraction يعني المشكلة مش فيها. 
Similarly, in experiment two, the motor in neuron, N, okay, creates a nervous message after stimulating it in both normal and paralyzed animal. Thus, the problem is not at the level of the motor in neuron N. However, in normal animal, the muscle contracts, but in paralyzed animal, the muscle didn't contract. Thus, the nervous message cannot reach the muscle. So the problem is at the level of the synapse F. You can see the answer here. Okay. Uh, in first experiment, I proved that muscles are functional. In experiment two, we proved that motor neuron is functional. Then we proved that Okay, please read this uh, answer. Okay, this is with respect to the first question. Let's continue now. A group of researchers formulated the following hypothesis concerning the cause of synaptic dysfunctioning in an animal affected by muscle paralysis. العلماء قالوا في كتب أسباب يمكن ما في exocytosis للنيوبترانسميتر طبعا مسل يعني أسيتل كولين أوكي خدوا قاعدة كل skeletal muscles have أسيتل كولين اللي هو excitatory Hypothesis 1 كانت Muscle paralysis is due to blockage of exocytosis of أسيتل كولين in the synaptic cleft الأسيتل كولين ما عم ينزل عبيبقى الآن ما عم ينزل بالسينابس don't bind to its to their receptors الأسل كولين doesn't bind to its receptors at the level of the muscle thus no transmission of the nervous message هي أول فرضية فرضية الثانية muscle paralysis is due to non-functional post-synaptic receptors of acetyl كولين قالوا المشكلة مش بالأسل كولين عم ينزل الأسل كولين but it's due to abnormal receptors المشكلة بالreceptors اللي بيقعد عليهم الأسل كولين Hypothesis 3, muscle paralysis is due to deficiency in the production of acetylcholine by the presynaptic neuron. سبب ال paralysis هو إنه ال presynaptic neuron ما عم بيصنع acetylcholine بالشكل الكافي ليخلي ال muscle تعمل contraction. Okay, so the first hypothesis قالوا إنه هيدا ال muscle أكيد إنه ال problem here ما في exocytosis لل acetylcholine. لبابا تاني فرضية قالت إنه receptors فيهم مشكلة تالت فرضية قالت إنه الأسيت الكولين ما عم يتصنع هون بشكل صحيح أوكي طيب experiment three the analysis of the content of the synaptic vesicles of the neuromuscular synapse in the paralyzed animal reveals the presence of أسيت الكولين similar to the normal animal جيت فحصت ال paralyzed animal لقيت عنده normal أسيت الكولين Normal acetyl choline. Any hypothesis rejected, for example? Sure, hypothesis three. Why? Because I'm going to tell you due to deficiency production of acetyl choline. If you look at this animal, it has normal amount of acetyl choline similar to the animal. Normal animal. Thus, the problem is not at the level of the amount of acetyl choline. The amount of acetyl choline in this animal is normal. Experiment four. Acetyl choline in the neuromuscular synapse of the paralyzed animal is extracted and injected into the synaptic cleft between N and M. حقنا أسيتيل كولين هون. Okay. In both paralyzed animal and the normal animal, contraction of muscle is observed. صار في contraction للمسل حتى بالparalyzed animal. شو بأكد لي هيدا الشيء؟ إنه I injected acetyl choline هون يعني أعد على receptor وعمل muscular contraction خلق EPSP muscular contraction Is there a problem at the level of receptors? لو كان في مشكلة ب receptors كان بيقعد الأسيتيل كولين اللي أنا حقنته So which hypothesis is rejected? Hypothesis two يعني from experiment three I reject hypothesis three from experiment four I rejected hypothesis two يعني المشكلة بمين no exocytosis لمبين إنه ما في exocytosis Determine after studying the results of each of experiment three and four the two rejected hypotheses. Determine. I have to start by since. Okay. شو بدي إلّو هون. Since mean since the amount of acetylcholine in the in the paralyzed animal is same as the normal animal. Thus, the paralyzed animal synthesizes acetylcholine normally. This indicates that hypothesis three is rejected. Deficiency of production of acetylcholine. نفيتا. Okay. Let's read the answer. خلينا نقرأ الحال. 
this is the solution. As vesicles are filled with acetylcholine in normal animals, this permits us to reject hypothesis three, which proposes deficiency in acetylcholine. أما المسكولا كونتراكشن بالبابلايزد انيمال بعد ما حطيت اسيتيكولين انديكيتس ذات ذا نيورو ترانسميتر فيكسس تو اتس ريسبتورز داس هايبوثيسيس تو از ريجكتد اوكي طيب اكسبيرمنت 5 شو عملنا راديو اكتيف كولين ا سبستانس ترانسفورم باي ذا نيورون انتو اسيتيكولين النيورون لما يصنع اسيتيكولين بيستعمل ماده اسمها كولين جبتها واعطيته هي راديو اكتيف اعطيته يعني هون ماده مشعه اسمها كولين Okay. هي المادة بدها تتحول inside the neuron into acetylcholine radioactive acetylcholine مشعة هيدي النجمة معناتها مشعات اوكي okay. a substance transformed by the neuron acetylcholine is injected in neuron N of the normal and paralyzed animal then in neuron N in both animals stimulated document 2 shows the electromyography of the synapse electromyo العضلات يعني سينابس بين المصل والنيورون after nervous stimulation the radioactivity appears in the form of black spots اخذت النورمال انيمال والبارالايزد انيمال اوكي ذيس از نيورون ان ذيس از ماسل ام هيدا النورمال انيمال شو عم يعمل؟ لاحظين النيورو ترانسميتر بالنقاط السوداء اكزوسايتوسيس للاسيت الكونين الراديو اكتيف بينما بالبارالايزد انيمال شايفين شي نقاط سوداء؟ ذير از نو اكزوسايتوسيس ذس واتس ذا كوز اوف ماسل باراليسيس ان ذيس انيمال سبيسيفاي ذا كوز اوف ماسل باراليسيس ان ذيس انيمال اكيد هي مين؟ Hypothesis one. How? By comparing the two figures. Okay? The electromyograph shows black traces at the level of the membrane. Bill A, synaptic vesicles marked in black. This indicates presence of acetylcholine. Bill B, the vesicles during exocytosis and the black spots of acetylcholine are observed uniquely in the normal individual. In both animals, in both animals, we observe black spot, black vesicles containing neurotransmitter acetylcholine. However, in Normal animal, there is acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft due to presence of black spots. So while there is no black spots in paralyzed animal, no acetylcholine. Okay, a radioactive marker is observed uniquely at the postsynaptic membrane of the muscle of the control animal. Shuftoni, shayfino, like when we, al acetylcholine. Hom ma fi acetylcholine ala receptors. Okay. So the cause of the paralysis of the animal is due to the absence of exocytosis and consequently the liberation of acetylcholine not and the muscle remains relaxed. يعني اللي قالوا هو هون إنه اللي أنا فيني فسره أعمل comparison comparison فيني أقول in both animals normal and paralyzed the black spots are observed inside the vesicles. Black spots acetylcholine radioactive. However, in normal animal. It's observed in synaptic cleft due to exocytosis and at the level of the muscle membrane. While in the paralyzed animal, they are not observed in the synaptic cleft and at the membrane. Thus, there is no liberation, no exocytosis of acetylcholine to the synaptic cleft. Then the cause, the problem, the muscle paralysis, the cause of muscle paralysis in this animal is the blockage of exocytosis of acetylcholine, which doesn't bind to its receptors. Oh. Cannot bind to its receptors. That no, it's not present. Manizel, and the muscle remains relaxed. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Akid. And we hope you will like the Life Science Simple Guide on Facebook. We will like it until you like it. If you want to see them, they are all present here. See you in the next video, inshallah.